Honestly, I just want 2016 to get here just so these ridiculous women will stop annoying the hell out of me with this war on women, we're victims, give us birth control or give us death crap. Yeah, I hope you haven't had your fill of their narrative yet because as long as Hillary Clinton walks this earth, the war on women shtick will be a curse upon the land. Every week, progressives launch some kind of campaign and this week was no different. Sheryl Sandberg is the COO of Facebook and she launched this campaign in conjunction with the Girl Scouts, all designed to make girls feel better about themselves by reminding them that they're victims and they need to be coddled with a national campaign to ban a word. The campaign is called Ban Bossy. I'm not making this up. Watch. This is Ban Bossy. Take one. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Pushy. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Bossy. 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 Oh. Bossy. When I was growing up, I was called Bossy. I think the word Bossy is just bread. a swasher. Being labeled something oh, matters. Jennifer, By middle school, girls are less interested in leadership than boys. And that's because they Based worry about what? being called Bossy. No, they we don't. Need to tell them it's what is okay he doing in here? He's a dude. Ambitious. We need to help them lean in. Words matter. Let's just ban. Diane von Furstenberg, I'm not buying any more of your dresses. To be strong and be ambitious. Listen to the your own voice. For. There are no limits. There Come on, dude. to be you. You can change the world. Let's ban Bossy. Be brave. Kind of bossy. Be you. Ban Bossy. She's bossy. Join us to ban Bossy. Why are all these women bossing us around to ban Bossy? I'm not bossy. Yeah, you are. I'm the boss. I'm a boss, and too. Why are you being bossy to me? Why are they being bossy? You know, you're probably sitting at home all like, <laughs> what does this have to do with women? What does this word have to do with women? And I'm all I know, right? What does the word bossy have to do with women? I didn't realize that women had the patent on bossy. I thought it was just a word applied to people who were unnecessarily assertive. Mitch McConnell is bossy. Yeah. <laughs> Barack Obama is bossy. But no, says Sheryl Sandberg and the Girl Scouts and a bunch of left-leaning lady sites. Bossy is a word used to neutralize the budding female leadership spirit inside every girl. Bossy is what women are called when they do leadership things, apparently, like ban words. No, because that's not bossy, that's leadership. I highly doubt, by the way, that Sandberg got to where she is today because she acted like some victim and played the sex card to bend the rules and tilt the playing field on everything from Title X to Obamacare. No, see, Sandberg got to where she is because she was a leader. And now she's encouraging girls everywhere to basically do opposite of her and act as though you're there spiritually wounded because somebody called you or them bossy back in first grade. Hmm. So many things are wrong with us. First off, it's insane to suggest that a little kid's contemporaries, you know, the ones who usually call little girls and boys, by the way, bossy, are likely not doing so as a malicious patriarchal attempt to impede the blossoming of a young leader. Their kids get over it. And secondly, some girls are bossy. Some of them are brats. I have a niece who is ridiculously bossy and she's loud. And she pinches when she gets mad and it hurts. I also have a nephew who's bossy. My kids are bossy. Hell, I'm bossy. We could play semantics all day with a subtle nuance between leadership and bossy, something I don't think the geniuses behind this astroturfed 2016 mind project understand, which is actually shameful because if you're gonna lecture the world about girls, maybe you should better understand the psychological implications of suggesting that every kid is or can be a leader when in reality no not every kid can be a leader some kids are followers they are it's a disservice to a child to resist his or her personality we hear all of this stuff about accepting people as they are accept their sexuality accept this but hold up we can't accept them if they're not leaders why is that so wrong to say my oldest kid is going into baseball and he's a fanatic. He's a great hitter and he's really focused on improving himself and his playing. I was talking to one of the adults who oversee the program that we're thinking of having him join and he said something along the line that, oh, well, you know, everybody's going to be able to make the team. And I was like, no, 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 I'm not going to go to a game and watch my kids sit on the bench. It's one thing if he loves it and, you know, you're supporting whatever, but it's another, honestly, if an adult is cruelly stringing him along telling him that he's better than he is. Here's your participation trophy. Lash HQ, we don't do participation trophies. If he doesn't have it, to do it, cut him. Do the right thing. 
I was an athlete in school and my letter jacket was coated. I also studied classical ballet for a frillion years, but what I always really wanted to do though was play basketball and I really wanted to play well, but for every reason, I suck out loud. I was the first cut at tryouts and afterwards I was so de just dejected. I hopped into the car with my mom. She was behind the wheel, the wheel and I told her, mom, I got cut. She looked at me, her cigarette perched on her lip like she's Clint Eastwood. She said, yeah, we'll suck it up. We drove off. See, strength doesn't need coddling. Leaders aren't satisfied with participation trophies. And girls, they're not going to feel better about themselves in a society where songs calling women bitches make the top 40. But hey, oh, don't say bossy. Ladies, Khalees took ownership of bossy and a same name track in 06. You can't take that back. Now, one of the artists featured is Beyonce, which is ironic considering that she tells women to bow down and she sings about bossy men in her song Signs. I actually don't have a problem with the word. I do have a problem with the insipid hypocrisy of this campaign. How about we teach girls not to let the perception of others define them? How about you teach girls about strength from overcoming something, not running to Uncle Sam to ban what you dislike? How about you teach girls to get tough? Cheryl Sandberg, because no girl woman is going to be taking over a boardroom if an innocuous adjective hurts her little feelings. <laughs> Do you think an adjective stopped Margaret Thatcher? Do you think an adjective stopped Isabella of Castile? Did an adjective stop Joan of Arc? Maybe Sandberg's campaign has an ulterior motive. Maybe, just maybe, the goal is actually to create delicate girl women who cry over being called bossy so as to eliminate any and all competition for Hillary Clinton or Elizabeth Warren in 2016. Do you think it's a coincidence that uh, Sheryl Sandberg is a pal of Hillary Clinton? Coincidence that she did some videos for her, hosted a gala for her, presented her with an award? I don't. See, they're seeding the ground for an epic battle of the sexes in 2016, and our kids are pieces on the chessboard.